So you're a passenger on a starship that's crashed on an alien world. But in true 2000 AD style, that is the least of your problems. Welcome to Death Planet. It's the 23rd century and the starship Eternity blasts off from Earth, filled with colonists on their way to distant worlds. But the ship is knocked off course, crashes on an unknown alien planet, and Commander Lorna Vaughan and colonist leader Richard Corey must set aside their differences and work together to keep everyone alive. A short serial written by Alan Hebden and drawn by Spanish artist Cesar Lopez Vera, Death Planet ran in 2000 AD, Prog 62 to 70 in 1978. It's notable as the first time 2000 AD had a lead female character, something that didn't sit well with some readers at the time. Though the strip veers from celebrating this to undermining her with Corrie's endless patronising comments and weirdly comedic moments. There's an odd mix of things that you would find in girls' comics of the time, such as the brave but accident-prone heroine, but placed alongside 2080-style sci-fi horror. Death Planet is a slice of classic sci-fi action from the dawn of 2000 AD, and Lopez clearly had a lot of fun drawing its weird and hostile environment that was placed in the path of our desperate heroes. Recently collected together with Planet of the Damned, Death Planet is of its time, but if you enjoy classic 1970s sci-fi and beautifully drawn black and white artwork, then it is a real blast from the past. Well, let us know what you think about Death Planet in the comments on YouTube and Facebook Earthlets. Next week, we're heading back to the 17th century to meet the zombie hunter extraordinaire, Defoe.